Obama did nothing for black people. Oh, let's talk about it. What's new 99? Okay, today we're talking about Obama did nothing for black people. And let me explain why that's not as simple of a statement as you make it out to be. Macro and microeconomics. President is a macro person. He's overall over the entire thing. He's over the entirety of America. He has limited powers in terms of local and, uh, as you see, governors. Hence why the martial law thing is kind of a flawed argument when people make up the conspiracy theory. Most of y'all don't know that. Martial law can't be enacted unless the senators and the governor absolutely acknowledge the martial law. Even in the last case when when um, Trump used it on the situation, he used that little article, governors had to ask for that assistance. He can't just throw the, the army in there. Which is why your argument is flawed when you say that. But, back on point. Macro He's overall, he can do crime deals, he can do all kind of little reform. Trump did a criminal justice reform. He had Republicans behind it, he had Democrats behind it, who wouldn't be behind it? Obama had a little more issues with that as Republicans promised to make him a one-term president. So um, yeah, they gave him they gave him a hard time throughout the But still it's still limited. Like Trump is limited in what Trump can do. Um main thing is micro is probably what impacts black communities more local laws there's state laws that like can arrest used to about they just got rid of them they could literally arrest a black person for marrying a white woman or a white man like literally it, they, those were local laws and they could be enforced i just want you to understand that like these local laws are what governs it you have a usually a supervisor a superintendent depending on what state you're in i think it's usually supervisor you have a mayor who appoints the police chief, all these people literally affect the police in your area. Minneapolis, as you've seen, uh, Minneapolis is getting rid of the police department. That's a local thing. The president has nothing to do with that. It's the same thing in those areas. By the way, your supervisor job and your chancery clerk, the local area, are to go get money. To, to get money for your community and your thing and projects in your community. They make a list of projects, put it together, go to the uh sometimes state sometimes federal level get funds for it build whatever they want to build so that's why it's important to know who your chancery clerk and your supervisor and your mayor are. they directly affect you as the president is a macro and he can just affect you like a sprinkle so if you know your chancery clerk your people are if you know your local officials which is very important they are responsible for your schools your and a lot of these people don't even know they are responsible for it. Like, they never, like, no one gave them a manual how to do it. But you can. They can literally go to, like, the federal government in Washington, D.C., or they can go to the state and get state funds or federal funds to build schools, get more books, all that. The federal government brings money down to the state level. Um, when you, Mississippi has an issue with, like, people stealing money at the, at the state level, so when the federal government gives them. So you probably need to fix that first, which is on the governors and Shout out to the auditor in Mississippi now. He's actually doing his job. Finding out these thieves out here stealing. But yeah, it's, it's very micro level. And I'm trying to explain this the best I can. Like I said, mayors appoint police chief. Police chief make the structure of the thing. They probably need the support from the governor on some ideas. That's how you fix your policing. They give funds, take away funds, blah, 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 overhead. Bunch of different ideas. That is why Obama can do regular things because he's a macro person. Senators are macro too. Your governors, your state senate, all those are micro. Those are the people who invest in your community. They go get money when the federal government give money to the states or the states have their own funds from their taxes. They get money for it, improve the schools, blah, blah, blah. So that's why it's important to know who's in your state elective. Usually it doesn't matter about party in terms of it's about who knows more and who can who can actually speak to you on getting stuff done. That's why 
I kind of hate how local elections are because it's just the person who you see the most usually win by posting stuff because nobody really knows who these people are. They really don't. That's why you should be involved in that. You should get in there. You should study the policy. You should go to those town hall meetings. By the way, if you're, this is how you find out people are probably taking money or not using the money fund. Just go to the meeting. They have a town hall meeting around here. I think it's Tuesday. They have one usually once a month or every week, depending on your area. You go in there. You ask questions. They have to tell you about law. They can't lie to you. You're an American citizen. You can actually go in there and get. I know a lot of y'all. You can actually go and get what they've been doing, so you can know from directly from the state office if you ask for it. Like you, you learn all this stuff. All you have to do is go in there and ask. They don't require it because you're a citizen to give it to you. They might try to beat around the bush and don't tell you things, but that's it. And this is just an education on to people that don't know why micro and macro levels exist. But yeah. That's the video. Like and subscribe. I hope I gave you a basic understanding of why local and government is and why Obama or Trump or any president really can't affect you on a local level. And why you should focus on your local elections because that might be more important to you directly than the federal level. Because if they're not bringing in jobs or anything, your local supervisor, superintendent, whatever they call, uh, chancery clerks, mayors, police chiefs, anything you want to change, they are important your daily life that's why people that have good ones use that for good city growing city and the ones that have bad cities are stagnant and dying so you want to know who those are you want to fix them you want to vote you want to actually know what their platform is because i know a lot of local government don't even give a platform you barely ever see them actually so do your homework um if you want to change change locally and vote everybody so they all can work together and there's just a big uh Recap on things that's happening. Yeah, Obama can't change police chiefs. Police chiefs and do like local protocol. They can give overarching federal laws over certain things, but that's about it. Which does affect, but it's still a limit in how they do it. Because the mayor hired a racist police chief and he hired a bunch of racists. Ain't nothing no laws gonna do. They just gonna claim other things in lab. So, yeah, I love you. Peace.